Oh shit. Oh girl, she's about to go down in Antarctica. Cause there's like sea whales and dolphins. Oh shit. It's Montequilla coming back for some more. Random cast episode six out of Austin, Texas. I am your host, Will Romero. It is Saturday, April something, I think 12th. And here is Mason Riley, the couch man, sitting right above me. <laughs> He's on the couch. And we're going to talk about some shit like butter and horse, probably. South Park. And probably going to talk about some law enforcement debunkle, debacles and carpal tunnel syndrome of the penis and how sucralose will kill you <laughs> all of that and more episode 5 of the random cast but anyways like I said here we are in Austin Texas the big O ATX my second home my home away from home and uh, yeah it's been fun so far went out last night stole some pool balls from a, a bar um, detour if you're missing your pool walls I took them sorry I'm not sorry fuck your pool balls I got your balls anyways uh, yeah just hanging out having fun about to uh, you know talk about some serious subject matter such as things that may or may not have happened or will happen. But we shall discover all of that soon enough. I'm waiting on Mason. He's taking a dump. And uh, yeah, my voice is still fucked up, as you could tell. Horse as a horse can get because of all the um, previously discussed uh, oak jizz. Lucky for me, all the oak jizz is dissipating. And I want to clarify something. I said that it fucked up my respiratory system. It's not really my respiratory system. It's more like my sinus system. I don't even know if that's a system. It's more like sinus cavities. Got up all up in my cavities and just fucked shit up. So, anyways, wait now, Mason. And here he is. All right. Hey, buddy. Me, buddy. What's going on, dude? Long time no see. This is, uh, by the way, for the listeners. I mean, or listener. How many people are listening? I don't fucking know. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Minus one, so ten. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, this We is, love you, though. This is we my do. first guest. And, uh, yeah, we've been friends for quite a while now. I didn't wash my balls for this. Uh, good. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I aforementioned so, uh, that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. I shared that with you guys. Yeah. So uh, tell tell uh, these people, these fine folks of the uh, trailer park chicken. about yourself. <laughs> um, well, I live in a chicken coop. I am almost 30. Found uh, my first gray hair yesterday. I'm not too happy about it. Uh, no, I'm uh, your guitarist, your main man. Um, insane Clown Posse. All the way. Oh, oh, no, no, no. We don't talk about that band because that is one of the worst bands that has ever existed. Wait, what do they call that? Gr- gr- what do they call the the cult people? Oh, the ju- Juggalos. Juggalo. They're the worst. Did you see that documentary on that shit? I don't know, but now so I want to. It's fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> dude, that is the worst They're band. They're like, oh, no, God, bro. Number one is the worst fucking band that's ever been. Number two, the people are fucking ridiculous. I mean, oh, man. Dude. They're... They it's are. like white trash found fucking mom's black lipstick and was like, I'm going to make a clown impersonation on the face. It's going to look really awesome. I'm going to wear it with some fucking huge baggy shorts and face tattoos and no job. Dude, I, I know. I know. And then I'm going to do a bunch of meth after that. You know. Yeah. So I, what I don't get also is John 5. I love John 5. Oh, dude, Great guitarist, but what is don't you don't need all of the weird makeup, am I right? 
Oh, he, so we're both guitars, you know. We, we're both be playing on stage yeah. and shit. I get having a gimmick and all that. Well, I think is he, that what it is? He doesn't always wear like when he's playing with Rob Zombie. He doesn't wear any makeup. I think it's only <laughs> when he does John Five. Yeah, when he does his John Five, because it's like his it's his persona for his solo act. You know what I mean? Talk about a guy who is obsessed with Telecasters. Ah, uh, yeah, dude. He's got like fucking that. Well, he uses those um, shit. What are they called? The uh, Buck Owens Telecasters. Those things cost like fucking twenty five hundred dollars. I really like the headstock on those. Yeah, we, yeah. We should pull up a picture of what those look like for I, those dudes when we get the internet back on. Time Warner Cable hates you, faggots. Faggot. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, I thought of. Uh, all right, I saw something really cool until I saw who it was. There was a guitarist in like a, a Guitar Center magazine. The headstock. He had a, a regular Fender Strat, but it had a Telly, a left-handed Telecaster neck. Oh, cool. So it was upside down, right? That always looks cool. But the fucking artist was Keith Urban, who's a shitty fucking uh, country singer artist, quote unquote artist. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I'm uh, gonna I'm gonna play. Uh, here's my myriad of five chords. Yeah. And uh, watch <laughs> me change between the five, and uh, I'll be uh, singing some sappy bullshit now while uh, I do that. This is is this what we call fucking country fucking music? Right. Um, well, dude, I like I. Said, but you know, um, we can make some hella money doing that, dude. Yeah. Like, well, it's, like it's one of I know out, like, selling the fuck out. You know well, that. <laughs> I know, right? But could you imagine if you just did some gay ass country bullshit, you know, and I don't know, and then just have money to make really good metal. But I'm I'm just kidding. Don't ever do that. Well, it's like well, that is not advice. <laughs> don't do that. Don't ever do that. <laughs> well, here's what but no, no, chicken this. picking. No, no. Let's let's be real. Because John Five, since we're talking about John Five, yeah, there's a guy who can really play almost any genre. Oh yeah. When it comes to on you know playing different styles of music on guitar. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's a guy who's, you know, taking like things like chicken picking. I mean, there are actual really good, um, fundamental guitar techniques, you know, like slide and all kinds of stuff that can be translated into, you know, really good, uh, you know, if they made it metal, I'm always listening to everything and I'm like, but if it was metal. Well, I mean, look at Mastodon. They do that. Like, right. there, there's, like, those chicken picking riffs that are in there. Because mm-hmm. Brent Hines is, like, a really big, like, real country fan. Like, you should really not, change not... his name to Hines 57. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hines 57 miles per hour. No, that's too slow. He's, like, fucking... He's a beast from the Middle East on the guitar, dude. But, yeah, he incorporates, like... The, Mid- mid-beast. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the middle beast. <clears throat> well, he, he incorporates, like, <clears throat> the... Um, Drugs? Yeah, that too. Lots of weed. You told me not to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom listens to the show. Oh, we don't do drugs. Yeah. And, uh, well, the thing is, like, he incorporates, like, that country, the real country sound, the old school country sound, with yeah. the prog rock, with the metal, and as does John Five, you know? Mm-hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that that style. It's just the modern country that... They call country. Oh yeah, so I was listening to you talk about it the other day. Yeah, you, you're you're sick of the the pop country, and I was sitting there just like, man, I know exactly what you're talking about, because um, I'd worked with this chick, and she's spoiled as hell or whatever, and I'm you know we're in her like spaceship of an SUV, you know, and it has <laughs> like you know has the satellite radio and all that bullshit, and like you know she's changing through the channels, and it was like country this and. Big Tech's country this and that and like changing uh, between all the different stations fuck and I couldn't differentiate between you know the two and I would sit there and just like make the stupidest faces and just be like <laughs> as you know I'd be, I would be like this music sucks you know and they're like can I change it you know and just they, people that listen to country music are just so defensive are we that are we that are we that defensive when people are like oh man I'm not really into metal you know, and we're like, oh, well, you know, I don't think we're that. No, because, like, it's not like, I've well, why don't you listen to metal? Huh? It's it's the greatest thing. It's like, it's not for everybody. Um, I think smarter people listen to, um, like, I wouldn't say metal, but, like, more uh, intricate type of music, like progressive rock and metal. Because like, that's, where, that's where it's at right now. Yeah, well, it, I mean, it, there's an evolution actually, in, in everything. It's something you have to think about, you know? It's, like, in progressive music, 
be it like maybe even a like electronic progressive music or like rock progressive music, metal progressive music, or classical music, um, it's ever changing in the song. So you're you're having to sit and follow and listen. Mm-hmm. And all these people like listening to these country songs and these pop songs, they're just all they're doing is listening to the hook and to the uh, chorus. Yeah, and that's all they're into. For that song, you know what I mean. Like it's not, you know what I mean. They're, they're you know what I mean. They're really not. They're not. They're not incorporating and integrating. Um, you know, say, take for instance the band Prodigy. Fucking love Prodigy. Dude. Yeah. Like if if Prodigy came to Austin, I don't even care how much money it would have to be, but you know the Prodigy. We're not talking about that black dude that had fucking accidentally showed up at his show. Thinking I'm on, on South by Southwest going, oh my God, I'm going to see fucking Prodigy, right? And I show up on the east side with all my friends, you know, and I don't do South by and I live in Austin like my whole fucking life. But I'll buy the gay ass wristband for $5 million or whatever it is. Fucking like and $1,500? Yeah, what's well, like, you know, 300 I don't even know what it is, but, uh, you know, it's it, exclusive it, pass and all this bullshit. Yeah. Um, but, uh... Anyway, we show up. I know this is sidelining fucking what the hell I'm talking oh, dude, about. Was, but this is the random we, cast. Yeah, this is a random um, cast. We could talk about whatever. If we get sidetracked, that's fine. If we never get back to a subject, that's fine. That's cool. We can leave <laughs> like, it in the past. Awesome. It doesn't even matter. What's really it's, funny like, is is if you the, if you knew the whole thing is just like just fucking talking yeah. dialogue. I don't care, you know. Well, if you knew if you knew me, I do live I do live in a in a little duplex. So across the street is uh my neighbor. Dano. Uh, oh, Dano. And then uh, Eric, uh, and Eric is this this uh, what would you call him? Like a dickhead from California? What's a, what's a good uh, piece of shit? Oh, there you go. He's got this hot ass girlfriend, and um, at the time they had they ever had a falling out, and they weren't really, um, you know, he would talk shit behind her back and all this shit, you know. So he was yeah. dogging her all the time, and I'm like, man, he didn't really care about her. So anyway, I ended up getting into trouble because we went out one time. And anyway, that's that's also besides the story. So when we all, all three of us went downtown, the South by Southwest thing, and uh, his his chick is like all about music, and uh, she uh, she had like that that little music listing of all the different. Um, oh yeah, who's gonna be playing? Yeah, who's, that who's night playing where? Whatever, yeah. yeah, and I'm I'm scrolling down it, and I see Prodigy. And I'm like, okay, dude, this is one thing that's going to get me off my ass. And I'm going to go out and fucking see Prodigy, <laughs> dude, right? So uh, I'm fucking amped, dude. And we're on the, you know, we're on the east side. This is like Fifth Street, Austin. Like, if you're not familiar uh, with Austin, um, it's it's the ghetto side. In the well, ghetto. In the ghetto. In the ghetto. It used to be. I mean, it's nice now. Yeah, they're actually fixing it up now. Yeah, it looks nice now. I mean, five, six years ago when I lived here, you know. It was it was pretty bad still on that side, you know. Anyways, uh. but but you know we're we're not talking like we're not talking like the Irwin Center. We're not talking you know yeah, the yeah. Velveeta no, Room or whatever the fuck it is. It's not a big venue. It's not a huge venue. No, we're in this like little. You know, it's actually pretty cool. It's like an outdoor type indoor thing, like they had kind of at Summer Slaughter. But um, I surrounded I was surrounded by an abnormal amount of African American people. You, you just cut the political. Crisis. No, I know. I'm just that it's was the best joke. That's the joke because we say we say all kinds of shit all the time. No, there's you know a lot of black black people there, and uh, I'm looking around. I'm like, what the fuck, you know? And, and I'm like, cool man, you know. And prodigies, you know, industrial and fucking um, techno and yeah. uh, you know, guitar and mixing. That's what we were talking about. Is you know mixing yeah. in and the electronic yeah, and yeah. shit, which I love. And Animals as Leaders is our favorite band. If you uh, don't know, Animals um, new album out by the album. way, Joy of Motion. Yeah, if I can give it a listen. Uh, motion to the joy. Um, mm-hmm. So anyway, we you know we're getting drunk and you know we're listening and I'm like, you know, you know, there's some hot chicks there and I'm dancing with some chicks and all this shit, but it's hip hop. You know me and I'm not like the yeah, biggest hip hop yeah. fan unless it's like fucking Dell or. Oh, it, let's it's, cl- let's clarify something. Hip hop is not bad. It's the fucking. <laughs> like, <laughs> I like hip hop. It's the, it's the rap that they That's, play in the music. It's, it's the, the gangster rap. It's the and I gangster can't do rap. It, yeah. Like hip hop can be really cool. Like I, I like need to come up with a really good name oh for my shitty God, rap. Dude, that fucking smells. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Good thing it's a fan going. <laughs> a good thing the microphone can't pick up. Uh... It might have. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so you mayonnaise you're... on bread. 
Well, uh, okay, before you go on, I want to clarify something. Political correctness, by the way, okay, African American, unless you were born in Africa, Africa you're not an African American. You're not an African American. You're an American. Yeah, we're you're all a black just American. Dude, or you're, uh, um, you know, a Latino. You've got a really you could good be tan. You're a Latino, Mexican American, no, unless, like, you are. Really good Mexican. tano, we should really say. L- really good tano? <laughs> 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 yes, that's perfect. But yeah, I mean, it's a black dude, it's a Chinese, uh-huh. or not Chinese, it's an Asian guy. I almost Because yeah. not everybody's Chinese. Yeah. Well, that, yeah. Okay. So, I don't have say to our well, Korean technically, listeners. Technically, fucking uh, Indian people are Asian. So, I mean, Asian or Indian, I mm-hmm. mean, it's really, they're very different. I'm a but, Caucasian. But you know what I mean? Caucasian. Caucasian. <laughs> but anyways, so, yeah. You get to cock occasionally. You do? No, I, I get to cock <laughs> others. Not, not, in a, not in a reciprocal form. <laughs> like, what? No. Anyways. Uh, I'd like we, to cock Asians. What, what, you know. Yeah, right? Growl. What, what were we talking about? If you're Asian and you're a hot girl, I love you. I'm just saying, you know. Me too. That, that goes for Will. So if you're listening to this and you're like, in another, you know, if you're in a foreign Asian country and you're like, hmm, where should I go travel? Come to Austin and... Um, Come to the Coops. That's right. We will we'll give you really specific directions on where to find us. Anyway. So am I back to my story? Yeah, back to okay. your story. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we're just, you know, this isn't, I don't know why I'm taking half an hour to tell the story, because it's really not that long. But uh, after a certain <laughs> amount of time, I start to realize, where the fuck is Prodigy? You know, and I'm like, you know, really upset about this. So I go up to the front, and I ask the door guy, I was like, hey man, uh, when's Prodigy going on, right? Because I've been at this fucking bar for two hours. And uh, he goes, oh man, that is a Prodigy, can't you see him? He's up there rapping, and I'm like, that's not Prodigy, bro. And, he's, and uh, <laughs> really, dude. Okay, so you're gonna name so your you, fucking rap name after one of the most prominent bands that couldn't be any more good. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. As a band and as as a well known. Well, how did he get away with fucking like not getting copyright infringement? I mean, I know th- the band is called The Prodigy. All right. Okay. Well, but you can understand the confusion on my part. Yeah. Prodigy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody you talks saw, about prodigy as prodigy. Yeah. You know. So you got excited and, and kind of jumped the gun. Oh man. <laughs> I must still stayed and got drunk and listened to this dude. Well. But it really pissed me off. I wanted to tell him, hey man, your name sucks. <laughs> so you so, uh, stole that shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm sure you. And that's not it. racist. He actually stole. It. Yeah, it is. yeah, just because he's black doesn't mean uh, he has. He has. Uh, you know, he <laughs> likes to steal. Well, okay, I don't really. I don't. You know me, dude. I don't come to South by Southwest unless you're like, hey, man, like you know, animals as leaders is uh, you know playing, or maybe like like tonight I came. Uh, you know, because fucking Eagle Claw's playing yeah. and shit. Shout out to Eagle Claw. Shout out to Eagle Claw. But th- I mean, that's not why I came, obviously. I came because we're buds and we hang out all the time. Mm-hmm. But, you know what I mean? I don't go, come, I don't come to Austin because I haven't lived here in almost four years, I think. Sadly. Sadly. Very sadly. And, um, uh, I don't come here just to go to South by Southwest or do any of that shit because... It's so, I mean, yeah, it can be fun, and yeah, you can find, like, you can go out and have a good time, just like you did accidentally when I had a good time, you know? Yeah, totally. But it's, ah, man. I think that's the best way to do it is accidentally, or or just just don't don't really have any expectations. Yeah, just walk around and, like, because, like, people come from all over the world, literally, to fucking go to this thing. Parking sucks. That and ACL. I've only been to ACL once. Yeah, I've never never been. I didn't even know it was the weekend of ACL. Yeah. And, and then there was some scalper like, oh, ACL tickets, 80 bucks. I'm like, fuck it, I got money. I'm always, I didn't even know it was ACL. I'll go. And I actually got to see Skrillex play. Nice. Of all things. That's like cool. That was crazy. And then My Morning Jacket, some rock band. I don't know. They were right. And well, that's... that's, that's Stevie that... Wonder. I got to see Stevie wow. Wonder, dude. That was cool. Your dad, yeah, remember you telling me about that. You know, but, you know, that is really cool. I mean, that, you know, we do... Being in Austin, you know, I guess we should consider ourselves blessed to a certain extent because, um, you know, we do have all these. We're really becoming a huge, well, you know, music capital of the world. Oh yeah, so to speak. well, it's been that way since like yeah. the '90s. I mean, at least you know, it's it's an amazing place. And like, I mean, I'm glad <laughs> I live in a city that you know we're on the stop. I mean, if you look at that ride, the lightning, um, 
uh, plaque, you know. Oh, yeah, uh, right there, Austin, Texas, yeah. 1985. You know, they went to... Yeah. Okay, so they, they started in Boston, and they ended up in Oregon, right? But uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, February 20th on my mom's birthday, right? This is 1985, the year I was born. So Tulsa, and the next day, where were they? Austin, Texas. And then uh, Corpus Christi, and then San Antonio, which is like... Who who was designing their fucking uh, bus tour? Cause like go this way and then and then go to San Antonio. No. So yeah. Oh oh no. They played in San Antonio for three days in a row. So uh, Pasadena, Dallas, Houston, El Paso, Albuquerque. Well, that's not in Texas. <laughs> but well, see, a lot was, of venues in Texas. That was back in the day too, when like yeah. bands like that. I mean, yeah, they had some money. You know, because they're first Well, they off, had to tour, too. Well, yeah. The, well, that's how they got their name out. They didn't mm-hmm. have the internet like we had. Back in the day, whenever the... Thra- the yeah, it was the tape trading, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, that's they, they would make a demo. Know. They would... Uh, Records, too, man. Yeah, they would make fucking copies of the tapes. And all their friends would make copies of coupon copies. So you'd get, like, a fucking copy of the tape that was, like, ten times... You know, record it over or whatever, and the quality might suck dick. <laughs> oh man! Yeah. But now, what's crazy is that people, you know, and musicians and 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 people that really take their analog recording very serious, like they're running out of tape. Oh yeah, dude. And they're like, like and isn't it Tool that keeps mm-hmm. like they, they a will, lot of magnetic tape? Yeah, they they will only record analog. Mm-hmm. They won't they won't record digital, which is badass. I mean, they use some digital things in their music like synthesizers mm-hmm. and shit but it's all recorded analog you know and and that that reminds me you remember when we were at the summer slaughter tour we were talking to javier reyes from yeah, animals yeah. leaders and he's like buy my record and it was like bent and shit but they, you know, we would have bought it anyway but we don't have a record player i don't personally have a record player i'd like to have one but i can't remember the last time i was in like a modern music store and saw a record player uh well you can actually get a record player for like a hundred bucks well, I mean, our, I mean, I'm, I know we do have the power of the internet. I'm sure that people, you know, there are manufacturers making record, pl- well, record vi- players. Dude, oh. vinyl's huge. Yeah. No, well, I mean, especially like the vintage. For DJs. and well, That's what I see is like no, the no, DJ. No, 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 I'm talking about like people who just want to listen to music. Like, like buying an actual like old uh, or even new. Like there's companies that still make like really, really high quality. Um, um, vinyl? Well, record players. Oh, record players. Yeah, yeah. And they... they like really high quality stuff because I mean people don't realize like the analog stuff sounds so much better it does than I heard uh, what's the new Metallica album uh, Death Magnetic oh yeah, yeah I heard that on record it was in the album it was really good huh. I heard um, the Black album uh, oh sweet yeah, on a really really good hi-fi system on vinyl and it sounded badass and oh and Dark Side of the Moon that was that cool. was amazing dude that, that sounded so good but yeah it's it's like they still make records, man. People still look, uh, I, Well, I just need to get my hands on one then. <laughs> I have my brother actually uh, is the owner of uh, Wax Tooth Records. Yes, Wax Tooth Records. Check them out. Check they them have out. some good artists on there. He uh, puts out vinyl. He puts out tape. They put out all medium or media, I should say. Yeah. Um, industrial, actually, you know, techno, hip hop, really good shit. Hell yeah. But anyway. <laughs> oh fuck. Well, how about uh. <laughs> Mini golf last night. That was fun. Oh, that was great, Getting dude. Drunk. That was so awesome. <laughs> oh my god, that chick with the white pants. Holy fuck. That girl was that. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. You were like that fucking wolf in those cartoons with the fucking zoot suit on. It was like eyes were. Like oh, dude, yeah, popped out with the fucking binoculars and <laughs> yeah, shit. Like oh my and shit. Like god. <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah. Yeah. That girl was super duper hot. Yeah. I climbed a fence to take a piss, and a, a giant train was coming by, and that was very entertaining. <laughs> and then, I, then I, I tried to get back over the fence and rack my balls, and then, like... Yeah. And for you don't know, this you can you can bring your own beer and mini-golf. Yeah, Peter Pan mini-golf Fucking mini golf awesome, dude. Austin. See, this is... I'm never drinking at my house again. A lot of people don't understand Austin, and a lot of people do. Here's the thing. A lot of the people I know where I live come to Austin as like, oh, we're just going to go to Austin, go to 6th Street and get fucked up. It's like, dude, We hate 6th no, Street. No, no. That is not what you do. You find the cool people to hang out with, mm-hmm. find the little hole in the wall, yeah. places to go, and not even just bars, like 
the fucking Peter Pan mini golf, it's not really, I wouldn't call it a hole in the wall, but it's not like some big Well, you put holes? Thing. They have holes? They have In holes. the ground. Yeah, well. Holes in the ground. Holes. I, had to, I, had to, I had to throw that in there. The holes in my undies. <laughs> ah! Oh, fuck. What happened? Yeah, you broke it. Oh, shit. No, it's still going. Ah, my leg is numb. Well, um, but yeah. Aaron was drunk as shit. Oh, dude. We have our buddy and we love Aaron. Yeah. He'll be here later. Yeah, we will have future podcasts with Aaron and Travis well, guest stars. Yes, tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, dude, I don't know. I had fun last night. If I can stole some pool balls from Detour. <laughs> 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 that miss, was random. They're missing a cue ball in, like, fucking 13 or something. I know, right? <laughs> I don't know why I took them. I was a little drunk, and that I was, was like, uh, I'm putting these in my pocket. <laughs> that was pretty funny, dude. Uh, yeah. And then always running into that girl that's like, hit me up, and then, like, you do at three, you know, and they don't call you back. Oh, dude, that ha- I never get, well. Like, what's what's up with that? I never get calls back. That's funny. I don't have a girlfriend for a reason. As you know, because mm-hmm. we've been really good friends for quite a while, like mm-hmm. six years now, Um, I'm a weird dude. I've come to accept that. That's okay with me. I get it. I don't try to be that way. That's just how I am. So not all the females are attracted to uh, weird guys. Man, I think the problems with them, dude. To be honest, you know, not you know, just saying from my experience, you know, because yeah, that's true. I mean, of- I've I pretty much have my shit together. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. And, oh, that's one thing I don't get, man. And, like uh, they're just they're just crazy, you, man. You always get fucked over, and you're like mm-hmm. the nicest guy I know, man. Like fuck. Yeah. I don't get it. So yeah. You know, and, and this last chick I dated, which none of y'all really care about, but, uh, you know, her boyfriend was just a piece of shit, you know? Yeah. And I hate all you assholes that, like, fuck up your chick or whatever, because then you ruin it totally for the next uh, guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then and, she's, uh, like, expecting all this mm-hmm. shit to happen again the next or time. Or they want you to treat them like shit, you know? I don't and, get that at all. I don't get that. That was really Yeah, weird. that's, uh... Really, really weird. That's a weird if thing. If you're a girl and you do that, just don't do that. I think... If you're a girl and you're listening to this... Probably not. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if That's any, awesome. I don't even know if people... Do, do I have a listener? I'd be cool It'd be if we know, like, Hugh was listening. Or if we did it live, who? we could see... Hugh? Huh? Who? Who? I don't know Hugh, but uh, who was listening. You know, like, like you could see who Oh, was. you... That'd be cool. Oh, which people... You mean by who? Yeah. <laughs> like, if we had, like, that Batman thing where they had, like, er- oh, the picture of everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah if we you. had that technology, <laughs> we would just watch you take showers, really. Oh, dude, I would watch... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, my neighborhood where I live now... Not if you're related to us, though. It, yeah. That's weird. That would be weird. It's creepy. Some fucking weird... Uh, the neighborhood that I live in right now, the houses are so close that, like... You can hear your neighbor fart? Yeah, pretty much. That's what my dad used to always say. <laughs> well, okay, let's put it this way. The fence that starts where our front yard and backyard meet and the fence where the neighbor behind us front yard and backyard meet are like three car lengths apart. Oh, I've seen that. And it's the same. Well, type of- they're a little bit longer sideways, but dude, it's so fucking cramped and like... I don't get why people would build houses. Well, I, I get why people would I, yeah. build houses like that because they want to make money and get more houses in mm-hmm. there. I don't know why people would want to buy those properties and be like, well, my neighbor's right here. I can hear him flush his toilet. I, I totally hear you on that, dude. For me, you know, I mean, we're, we're big outdoors people. Um, you know, my ideal situation would be having some big land, you know. Yeah. And having a house and, you know, because I grew up on like 40 acres in Oklahoma and shit like that and back and forth between here and there. And um, it's just nice, man. It's nice having the space. It's nice having, you know, room to do things. Oh, yeah. And like here at the Coops, dude, I mean, it's, you don't have a lot of space. You got close neighbors, but you have more space than you would any in an apartment. Like a house, even. Like I actually kind of have a yard. Yeah. You know, you, and, and. It's not even your yard, but you've got a yard, you know? Like. Hell yeah. It's like a community you yard. Just, you really just got to, like, be weirder than your neighbor, and they'll never want to come out in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> they'll be like, they'll yeah. look out the door and be like, oh, that guy's out there with his, in his underwear. Uh, uh, he's got you his know, fucking jock strap on. All again. oiled up in coconut oil. Like, what's up with this <laughs> like guy? Dan, the neighbor, he oh, walks man. around the pot and shit. <laughs> Seriously, like, 
Um, <laughs> they call, what do they call that? A, a booty, a, a boot, no, booty belly, booty, booty do. Like they say that your your stomach stick out more than your booty do. Oh. <laughs> and then he's like, he's got like these rat a tat tat fucking. Oh yeah, like cut off uh, <laughs> sweatpants <laughs> with like holes in them. Sweatpants. And he's like shirts. wearing flip flops and. <laughs> And uh, he's so great. We got to get video of him. Oh, uh, we got to. We're gonna have uh, Chicken Coop boys. Yeah, and it's gonna be, be like Trailer Park Boys, but Chicken Coop boys. Chicken Coop. Any go kart racing. Who would Dan be? He'd be like Bubbles, and like like, like a smarter uh, version of Bubbles without the. Oh, he's the, still kind of retarded. Uh, <laughs> he'd be like he'd be like um, Randy and fucking. I grew up with this shit. <laughs> he'd be like Randy and uh, Bubbles put together. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you walrus ass basketball eating motherfucker. <laughs> Hell yeah, That'd be great. Oh man, well I guess that'll about do it for this cast. Due to time constraints, it's called the broadcast. Broadcast, random cast, episode number five. Mason Riley. That's me. That's him. And uh, at least I was yesterday. I don't know who I am today. You are. I'm like a guest guest host today. Guest host Riley. Ghettoist. 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 <laughs> Anyways, we I should guess. have a ghetto space ghost. Or we could, you know, we, we black space ghost. You never know. Is he black? Uh, Can we settle that before we go? Is space ghost black? I don't. No, think so. right now, because you said it was random, and we have to say things. No, I don't, don't think I, about it. No, I don't think he's black because he he sounds like a fucking vacuum salesman from the fifties. The way he talks. And people didn't like black people in the 50s, and they definitely couldn't be vacuum salesmen. That's so true. Yeah. I'd like to know if he's... It got oh, awkward. That'd be great if he was black, though. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking about it. You know who the best person on that show was? Who, um, oh, the fucking... Zorak. Yes, Zorak. Zorak. <laughs> the fucking uh, mantis. Zorak. <laughs> Can we do that? We should... We should we're going to... I'm going to get my brother to help me out with that. We're going to have some, some good little cartoon bits for you guys. Oh, uh, yeah, that'd be badass. Well, actually, um, there was a uh, back in '95, so 19 years ago. I, I think my mom bought our first home computer, and it had a little. Pr- it was like it had Windows 95 on it, and uh, right out the gate, son. Yeah. Windows 95. Oh, maybe it, it came was, out in '94. It was the freshest shit on the market. <laughs> Bill Gates well, starting to roll in it, that dough. It came with this program called. Um, Minesweeper. No, Spider-Man comic. <laughs> I know it had Minesweeper. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course it had Minesweeper. You could load, this is y- bullshit! Uh, <laughs> you could load Doom from a, a floppy, disk. floppy disk. Yeah. Oh, well, it came with this game, and it wasn't really a game. It was a comic book maker, and it was called Spider-Man Comic Book Maker. And me and my sister would fuck around on that shit all the time. And I was thinking about finding it and putting it on my computer and like doing this podcast, but making oh, the, cool. the little cartoon thing because it's like, it's like you have like all these characters you can pick back. Okay, there's backgrounds, there's props, there's characters, and like in order to make the movie, you take a character and you click it down and you drag it and it'll do like a it does like a little sequence like it'll be like a guy walking but it comes along with sounds too that's badass and then you can put like little speech bubbles and shit so I was thinking about doing that for the podcast that'd be fun <laughs> make each other characters it and would shit. take forever to fucking do but yeah, it'd be fucking it'd be cool worth shit. it make it like Spider-Man swing across random cast <laughs> 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 oh hell yeah that'd be dude. great Anyways, any uh, well, fuck it. We don't have to end this, dude. If uh, fuck, you got any ideas? Uh, anything you want to talk about, man? Talk about fucking your upcoming number two stripe. Oh yeah, I'm working on my black belt. Yeah, that's Taekwondo, pretty sweet. Uh, I've been working on that for like eighteen years now. Yeah, tell them about your taekwondo. Um, yeah, this shit's badass. I'm a badass. He is. I uh, bonafide badass. Bon- bonafide. <laughs> um. Don't look at me weird. I've been to prison. I'll kill you. <laughs> um, are you going to eat those mashed potatoes? No. Because uh, they're mine now. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, yeah, man. We're going to, you know, I've been doing Taekwondo for 18 years. Love it. I uh, actually do want to do the Olympics someday, which That'd would be, be cool. Badass. You better give me a ticket, um, bitch. Yeah, man. You'll be my coach, bro. <laughs> I'll be your coach. I know nothing. Kick about him in the face. <laughs> Sweep the leg. I know nothing about Taekwondo, but I'll be your coach. <laughs> you just have to yell out shit from Karate Kid 1, 2, and 3. Oh, and dude. It'd be really good. I got that shit. 
and be like, wax on, wax off, bitch. Wait. Put him in a body bag, Johnny. <laughs> Wait, then let's do a bit of our uh, impressions. Okay. That's... What? Who can do? Uh, right now, with my nasally voice and and allergies, I'm not sure, but go ahead. I can do a uh, meat ride man in the morning with Hoji. Do it again. Meat ride in the morning with Hoji. I'm playing Xbox all day now and kill you. Be like Carl up over here. Don't need no instructions. No Get off my lord! <laughs> <laughs> fry <on>. man! <laughs> yeah, fry man. <laughs> I do bad impressions, dude. I, I, you know, Master Zeko was coming around, and he's like, you going to eat their mashed potatoes? And I'd be like, yeah, I was thinking about it. And then uh, he came up, and he was like, what the fuck, man? I don't know really what those mashed potatoes you got, damn it, You sound like Obama phone lady. Obama phone, Obama phone! <laughs> Who later actually had to go on Alex Jones yeah. and apologize for being a dumb nigger. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. That was racist. <laughs> but she did, though. Yeah, oh, well, the thing is, like... Did uh, I use my full name on here? <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, like, uh, people are... You can be a dumb nigger if you're white, also. Yeah, oh, well, like... It's not in, racist. In the words of... It means la- uh, lazy person. In the words of uh, Kurt Cobain, the KKK are the only niggers. Yeah. We hate them. True, yeah. Fucking... I don't know, man, like... Die Nazis, die! See, like, I get it, like, that's just, like, an expression, but, like, I know you don't hate black people. I know you don't... No, hate man, no, I love black people, man. I, I did this black girl one time, and it was really good. She was, she was really sexy, man. <laughs> I, I, I don't have a follow-up to that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, 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 no, 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 like... I'm not racist. None of my friends except for like... We just think it's funny to be racist. I think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. We just think it's funny. You know, we're not really... Yeah. But there are stereotypes. There are... Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, absolutely. You know, that that fit the bill. I'm sorry, man. If if, if you're a duck and you walk like a duck and you you sometimes eat bread... And fart on people's balls for good luck. Yeah. I sometimes feel like a duck's opinion of me matters... On whether or not I have bread. <laughs> <laughs> and the great words of Mitch Hedberg. I fucking love Mitch Hedberg, dude. That guy was a genius. <laughs> dude, dude, his his best joke, and I'm horrible at telling jokes, but he's like, I had this neighbor man, and I like to listen to a lot of loud music. And he would start banging on the wall really, really loud. So I like to fuck with him, get in his head, man. So I walked up to the wall, and I said... Go around. <laughs> I do not have a doorknob on this side. I don't know what you have on your side, but I do not have a door on my side. And uh, <laughs> that is the funniest shit I've ever heard. One of my favorites of his is like... Uh, Dufresne. <laughs> what was it? Uh, I know which one you're talking yeah. about. You're talking about the one where he's like... I went to, I, went, too. I went to a restaurant and I was waiting on a reservation and... While I was waiting for my reservation, they called out, Dufresne, party of two. two. Dufresne, party of two. And if they call out your name more than once, they go right next to the person that's that's right behind them. It's like, wait a minute. What happened to the Dufresne? What happened they, to the Dufresne? They are missing. They are missing. <laughs> we need to send out a search party. Search party. <laughs> Bush, search party of two. You can eat once you find the Dufresnes. They are probably locked in a trunk somewhere. Where? With duct tape around their mouth. And they are hungry. And they're hungry. Man, that's like a triple whammy. <laughs> Dude, that guy was a genius. I uh, know. Uh, you guys got to like my, my jokes more. Yeah. Oh, oh man. That's funny shit, man. Fucking great guy. Oh, yeah, dude. Well, uh, I, well, I think we're going to check. I can, I, can, I can maybe do one impression, and uh, it's, not, it. it's not very good. So I, I'll go ahead and do... Um, it's uh, 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 ah, uh, <laughs> pressure's on. <laughs> that pressure, is that you, uh, 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 when you're like, uh, uh, that's my old face. The pro- that's the uh, proctologist. Uh, there, proctologist. Yeah. Um. No, but and I could do Sean Connery saying one word. Do it. Two words actually. That's neato. <laughs> I can actually do a really good Sean Connery. Money, 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 money. 
Uh, I actually, uh, I, I would, uh, You gotta get the Scottish, Scottish and Conrad. <laughs> Conrad. Well, I used to go do the open mic night. Suck the dick. <laughs> I used to do the open mic night over at the uh, LOL club. Never in, in, I wanted to see that. Oh, dude, it's it's a good club. It's nice. Um, I I used to do the uh, licking oh, on labia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. done that. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do the uh, the open mic nights over there, right? And uh, I had a a bit. Oh, excuse me, I burped. I had a bit where I would actually do a Sean Connery impression. I didn't realize how horrible it was. That's great, though. <laughs> it was about my dogs and, like, how my dog Wolfgang sounds like Sean Connery. He, that, like, if my dog were to have a voice, that his voice would be, be Sean, Connery. Sean Connery. That's awesome. And he'd be, like, looking at, like, this older dog, Allie, that I used to have. My mom's got now. And uh, she'd be, like, eating a Cheeto, and he'd be like... Had me the damn Cheeto wrinkle tits. Wrinkle <laughs> tits. <laughs> wrinkle tits. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, fuck this shit from player. Did you remember me? You don't you ever have devil? Oh, yeah. Did you remember me? Yeah, girl. Yeah, man. So, this is going to conclude. 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 <laughs> yeah. conclude. This is uh, con- Yeah, I think for good. I'm just going to conclude it. Conclude Random cast episode six. I think I said five. You did say five. <laughs> I meant six. This hey, that's episode. all right. We're, we're dumb on the random yeah, cast. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. We're cool no, with that. No pressure. We're like a flat tire. We that's ain't right. got no precious. Well, if, when, if you only do something five or six times, you a know. A week. Ever. You mean, you're never going to like, be <laughs> really good at it. Good. And, you know, for the listeners out there, <coughs> which I am one, so I'm kind of talking to myself and this is also, uh, uh-oh. The first episode, the you said the funniest thing I've ever heard anyone ever say. <laughs> Which was it's like, like, you're like you're sitting there and of course you're doing your podcast and you're by yourself. And I thought this was so fucking hilarious, is that um, you're like, oh man, you, you guys are probably you know sitting around thinking, oh man, this guy's not really good at, at talking to himself. And I just started laughing. I thought that was the funniest <laughs> thing I'd ever heard. And, you know, because like, is that a thing? Like, like. Can you practice like talking to yourself? Because <laughs> no, I do it all the time. No, no, I know, but it just it it, it, it the thing that makes something funny is uh, the abstract with things that don't go together. It's like a flaming uh, stop sign. No, it's not funny. But uh, the fact that that's not funny is kind of funny though. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> um, you, you know what I you know what I mean? Like the extremes make things funny. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like. Um, that's the key to comedy. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like a dry delivery of like a joke, and it, it pro- I don't even know if it meant I meant to be funny there. I might have. I'm always trying to be funny, mm-hmm. but not like I don't tr- I don't I don't like over try to be funny. I just do goofy shit and say goofy shit all the time. Like, you know what I mean? Like I'm not serious. You know what I'm saying, D- dude, totally. And no, uh, no, I'm saying. I, I what I <laughs> what I what I like. I mean, I, I think I'm a pretty funny person, but oh, dude, when I'm around fucking hilarious, man. funny people, like when I try to tell a story, I'm like laughing through it. And like, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I have a horrible memory because I smoked weed forever <laughs> and um, my brain is gone. So like, you know, I'll, I'll leave out all these plot holes and like, I know where the, I know how the story ends and all this stuff. And I, and I know where this whole thing is going and it's really funny to me. And after I get done the, the, um, with the fucking story there, people are just looking at me like, Really, and I'm just dying laughing, and then <laughs> they and they start no laughing idea. at me at like how not funny that was, <laughs> and like the fact that I'm loving how funny that shit was, and I was like, see, I'm funny, and they're like, no, no, you weren't funny at all, and I was like, we were laughing at you. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I was I, like, dude, well, either way, dude. I tell that there's this, for me. there's this older guy. He's like so, sixty. Don't take yourself too serious. <laughs> there's this older guy at work. He's like sixty, and I tell him shit all the time. Like I was, I was like, oh hey, do you know it's easier to peel a banana from the back end because uh, he was peeling that's how monkeys do it yeah he well he was having a hard time peeling it. i was like oh you could flip it over and do it from the back end and he's like monkeys figure that shit out when they're like three months yeah, old and uh, they like the green bananas by the way because they're more tart yeah well like this guy was like he laughed at me like oh <laughs> but he did it and then he was like oh and like the the top is actually like a good handle yeah you know it's like it's like a little uh handle <laughs> uh, get a handle on it get a handle on that thing oh man I could dude I don't know about you but I could totally go for a slushy. it's getting warm fucking winter is gone uh, yeah man I got officially got bit by mosquitoes twice really today yeah I got bit by syphilis syphilitis <laughs> no I'm just kidding and syphilis 
Got her Pacific blades. Sibilance. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, what I was going to say is that standard, for some reason, is abbreviated STD, which I which I find quite often at my job when I see it. I thought it was STD, STRD. A standard STD. Well, I don't know. In, in, in my job, whatever, it's just they have STD protection. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it'll, you know, it's about overdraft protection or yeah, some bullshit. Yeah. And, but it's oh, what, and what's, way, what's super funny is that I'll glance over it and be like, it's STD protection. And I'm like, why do we <laughs> offer that? By the way, overdraft protection is the opposite of what I thought it was. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought overdraft protection was like, banks are sneaky. I've got $80. This purchase is $83. I'm going to not let you buy that. By, you know, protect you by not making you overdraw. No. It lets you buy it. It lets and you charges overdraw. You money. And then it charges you like $30. Yeah, like, what the fuck, man? So I signed up for it and I, I overdrafted yeah. like fucking a couple of cents on some gas. There's a law now and they're not supposed to be able to charge you a fee. Did really? you get a fee? Really? Mm hmm. Overdraft fee? Yeah, man. Dodd Frank. It depends happen? on the charge. If, well, no, I think it's like if it's like under five dollars, they can't charge you. But if it's a larger, mm-hmm. they can still charge you. I got you. And that's when you get on the phone, you bitch at the bank manager. Yeah. I'm gonna close my account. Oh, dude. By the way, that's the best way to get your overdraft fees back is threaten to close your account and tell everyone that you hate their bank, <laughs> and they'll be pretty pretty quick to bend over and say I'm sorry. Oh, dude, we never got into your. Uh, ta- I don't work for a bank. Taekwondo. Oh, yeah. Well, we- I mean, I break boards. Oh, no, no, I, right, but we got sidetracked as usual. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> and, no, well, you said that you said to go with it. Yeah, well, no, 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 talk about it, dude, because, like, I, like, you said, like, I think the last thing we That's, said like, is, the more like, serious you know, part of my life. Like, if Joe Rogan had a serious part to him, which he does, Yeah. Um, like the it's out. martial arts, yeah. you know, definitely, and I would really like to see uh, myself in a cage someday, um, Doing some taekwondo, oh, on wait. some fool. I was thinking prison for a second. In a cage. <laughs> oh, did you did you did you picture me with Arnold Schwarzenegger and um, uh, Sylvester Stallone? Yeah. In that movie, Escape, because yeah. it was really I liked it actually. <laughs> I never saw it. But yeah. I've got it. We'll watch this. Good. Cool. Well, no, no. Talk about your taekwondo because like it's really interesting. I really don't know a whole lot about it. Oh, okay. Well, like, taekwondo, the history, the brief history. Brief history of Taekwondo. Um, wait, wait, wait. Before you start, the brief history of Taekwondo by Mason Riley. And uh, this is uh, partially from a book that uh, I've got secondhand knowledge. So this this is very knowledgeable on the subject. So apparently um, some guy uh, in, I believe it was China. Um, no, no, South Korea. I'm an idiot. Uh, he was at like a gambling bar. And basically... Um, you know, he found that other people were cheating uh, while he was doing the gambling. And um, he, there was, like, this big fucking deal about it. And uh, this big-ass dude came up to him to fucking throw him out. And basically, he took, like, this little stool with his foot, like a Jackie Chan style, yeah. and fucking kicked that shit right in the dude's face. And, like, oh, and then he, like, fucked up a bunch of dudes. And then, basically, if... He had to flee the fucking country because every you know everywhere he went, um, people were going to beat his ass and you know you know how yeah. that is back in the day. Uh, anyway, he went to Japan and studied a lot of um, karate and uh, improved upon it in different ways or you know or, or took what was useful you know which happens with a lot of different martial arts. And uh, but you know all martial arts are pretty much descendant of Shaolin and you know there's there's a lot of debate on on you know where things come from like with the. Um, you know, Kali and, and all the different martial arts. But um, Taekwondo itself is is the harder form of, you know, like your Shaolin type uh, stuff. We're more of a, a, you know, we incorporate like Hapkido, which is like throwing, um, you know, uh, wrist and, and uh, arm locks and, and techniques like that. But mainly in kicking and punching. You oh, know, okay. that's my favorite part. Cool. So, so it's not like a whole lot of like grappling or anything. It's mostly hits. Oh yeah, man. It's it's all about you know finishing your opponent in the least amount of time. Yeah, I mean, it's very deadly. The the one thing I do understand you do it, it right. is that obviously you're only supposed to use it if you absolutely have to. And, yeah. You know, in, in a real situation. And secondly, it's it's to finish 
Don't. Build self confidence, dude. There's a lot of underlying. Principles. Well, yeah, there's that, but I mean, like, if you had to use it in a real life situation, like, it's to to get it over with as fast as possible, you know, and get yourself out of the dangerous situation or whatever it may be. Ooh, yeah, and, exactly. And, you know, and and if you if you were, if anyone out there that 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 listens is you know a really disciplined and practiced you know martial artist, you're not going to be in a lot of fights. Yeah. Um, you yeah, know. because you, you're going to contain yourself yeah. or control yourself from getting mad and, you know. Um, exactly, you know, but the thing is, it, it, what comes with that is if someone, you know, if, if something unfortunate like that does happen to you or your friends, you know, you, you can definitely handle that situation. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and you know, it, it's easy sometimes because I, I actually love to fight. <laughs> and I'm like, man, just say something, you know. But what sucks is it's not the Wild West anymore. Yeah. You know, so. Oh, dude. I mean, I would have been in anything. so many fights. Yeah, dude. And, you know, yeah. and and what really sucks is, you know, we're kind of like these caged animals now because we can't really um, you can't, act on our on our impulses and things, you know. Yeah. Um, you can't do things for yourself. You have to rely you on, You can like, stand up for yourself like you could. Or you have to rely on some you know, something other than just, I'm going to f- fucking do this and finish it and be done with it and, and handle it myself. Yeah. Back in the day. I mean, yeah, you dude. know, like, you know, if two guys got in a fight, you know, they fucking hugged afterward, you know, or they, they or get they over it talk or whatever. Yeah, man. Or they, they settled now it. That someone was always that. goes and calls the police and then, and then you both go to jail. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then the, it's, it becomes an investigation. Oh it's man. Like, it's, you know, and, and we're growing a, a generation of pussies. Oh, dude, absolutely. Everyone just stays inside and plays video games. Mm-hmm. Have you, okay, I'm sure you've noticed, I've noticed, almost all the kids nowadays, by the time they're like 10, are fat as shit. They have like, all, I saw a kid with a huge pot belly, like, he was like five or six. I was like, what the fuck, dude, why is this kid so fat? And it's, maybe it's not even that he's not going outside playing and exercising and shit, or like, Whatever you know, playing with strength. It's probably it, I'm poor guaranteed. diet. Well, it's the f- it's not even the poor diet. It's the food that that they actually produce now. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I've noticed overall, everybody's getting bigger. You know what I mean? Like it's hard to stay thin. Yeah, it's hard because of the shit in the food and it's fucking. Mm-hmm. It's, and it's more expensive to uh, stay healthy. Yeah, and eat healthy. I yeah. mean, you, you could, uh, you know. Own, you know, have a garden, but then again, it goes back to the, well, I, you live in an apartment or you live in a house that's so close to someone mm-hmm. else's house. You can't have a garden, right. you know, you can't grow your own food and you can't be self-sustained even just on like shit you grow. It's fucking crazy. It's very frustrating. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah so I think, you know, people have to be financially wise and I think, you know, one of the keys to life is to learn everything you can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because, you, you know, I, that's one thing that I like to do. If there's something, and we're both like this, if we don't know how to do it, we'll fucking figure it oh, out. Oh, yeah, dude. Absolutely. I mean, why am I going to pay someone else to do this if yeah. I could, I'm a perfectly capable human being of yeah. accomplishing this well, task? It, it's funny. Yeah. Like, I went on a trip last weekend, and the Jeep that my brother-in-law <laughs> that my brother-in-law was driving started acting up, and then my sister, like, read on a blog, like, oh, what does it mean when the Jeep is doing this? And they're like, oh, your so-and-so sensor. I think it was the crankshaft sensor is going out. Hmm. And so she looked it up, and she looked up parts, how much they cost. I think it was like $10 for oh. the cheapest one. And I was like, oh, why don't, you just, why don't you guys just order that? And then James is like, no, dude, I there's a reason I work. I, I'll just pay a mechanic to look at it fix it. It's like, dude, all you need is this one sensor. Yeah. All you need is to do is take out the old part, put the new part on. It's just a wire that clips on. It's a sensor, mm-hmm. and he didn't want to do it. Like I didn't understand that one bit, you know, because like you said, yeah, man. like me, you, like bro. we like to fucking just do shit ourselves, mm-hmm. build something, or like, you know, like fuck, I built guitars and work on guitars and shit and amps. And well, when my shit, truck yeah. fucked up, you know, and sometimes oh, you don't yeah. have the money. Yeah, to pay somebody. I mean, you fixed it up. Yeah, yeah, man, we've we've dealt with that before. Yeah. So the the, uh, the the lesson of the day, you know, be self reliant. You know, that's that's another thing that martial arts is, and going back to the taekwondo is, it's being self reliant. Oh yeah. You know, and I'm we're really big on that. You know, whether it's you know, you know, learning how to survive in the wild with you know, whatever you don't have basically, and um, you know, and you know, making the most out of everything you have, even like in a in a modern age. Yeah. Yeah, you because know, it's it's all t- transferable, you know. 
Yes, sir. Very table. That's very serious topics. Very serious. Very serious. Very serious. Stuff. Not funny. Ooh. Not funny. Oh. Not funny. Oh, don't make fun of the Asian. Don't make fun of the Asian. You have a hairy vagina. A very hairy vagina. Behind vagina. That was Sean Connery as uh, Asian hairy vagina. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Well, I think we that'll be the five second podcast. Yeah, I think uh, we ought to. How do you have a vagina? Are you a vagina? I better hide it. Mostly for uh, time constraints, because I don't know how much of this I can actually post on YouTube. Hairy vagina. Only, only, only this part will be hairy vagina. How do you? How do you say hairy vagina? Damn it! You got to lead us in the part in is but hairy hairy vagina. That's how we good. Hairy Okay, I think uh, Meatwads should sign us out of. What round is it? I'm going to have it. 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 Have it.